Yo, what is up? It is your boy. It's Swigs from the Urban Gamers. And we are back with another video. Man, make sure y'all comment, like, subscribe on the channel. Man, if you guys like the content, please support. Show your support for the channel. Uh, share with other gamers. Share with other gaming communities. Post this. Post these videos. I'll post wherever you can. You know, just shed a light on different content creators within the YouTube community. Um, shout out to, uh, I had a brain fart right there. Game breakers, shout out to cutthroat gaming, shout out to pretty much all the bros over on the, um, game breakers podcast. Um, shout out to those guys over there still doing their thing. Um, uh, make sure you guys check those folks out link in the description. Those are my brothers over there. I haven't been on the podcast in a minute because I just got a lot of stuff going on. And plus working periodically on Saturday, so I can't make it on the podcast. Um, I'm going to try to soon to get myself back on there because I am a part of that panel. But as of right now, schedule is a little bit bonky. All right. So we're going to get right into this video, man. Just make sure y'all supporting the content, man. That's all I asked. Um, so as you guys seen from the title, we're going to talk about this whole bungee Sony merger buyout just it's about to be crazy. All right. So as you guys know that I am a number one fanatic fan advocate of Bungie Destiny, literally one of my favorite genres, one of my favorite games of all time. You see the posters in the back. I got multiple collectibles. I got, you know, I've been a big, huge fan of Destiny since Destiny 1 beta alpha. Like that's how long it's been. Um, I even got a destiny cookbook. That's how real it is. Um, so I just want to say like this right here is heavy. Um, a lot of people do not like the destiny franchise. They don't, they don't, they're like, okay, whatever. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't even like destiny. A lot of people don't like Bungie. A lot of people just don't mess with them. Um, alongside of just from Bungie and Destiny, you know, you got Halo series, which they didn't produce the new Halos. That was the first Halo Bungie made. I think Halo 1 and 2, I believe. I could be wrong. Um, but for Sony, this is major. For Dest for Destiny and Bungie, this is major because um I just want to spit some facts real quick. So I got some notes right here. So Activision. You guys know that Activision had bought Bungie a while ago. Um, what, two years ago, maybe a year ago? I think it was like two years ago, something like that. Um, and they bought Bungie for $3.6 billion. They paid the amount of that, um, the amount that Microsoft was planning to invest in to Blizzard was a lot more, but they purchased Bungie for $3.6 million, uh, billion, but um, they backed out. Now, hold on. I'm trying to think. Is this old? Is this new or old? Sony plans for? Hold on. This is old. I'm trying to figure. I'm trying to find out how much did Activision pay for Bungie the first time um, when it was like a 10 year, it was a 10 year contract for Activision and Bungie. Now they didn't pay 3.6 billion. That's what Sony paid Bungie. Now this, this was totally wrong, but I'm trying to figure out how much Activision paid Bungie the first time um, in 2019 when they, when they uh, merged together, but I can't find it here. If you guys can find it in a comment, uh, Bungie Activision contract. Okay, here we go. They paid two point five million dollars for ten for uh per year from two thousand and ten to two thousand thirteen. So it was like two something years that Activision had Bungie, and um Bungie will receive twenty to thirty five percent of accumulated operation income. So. Bungie partnered with Activision for $2.5 million, which y'all already know that went down the drain. They backed out. Um, 
it was an L to begin with to partner with Activision because you know Activision is pretty much snakes of the publishing gaming publishing stuff. So that deal did not go well with the content from Destiny, the content through Bungie, and just a whole bunch of stuff. It didn't it didn't do well. So they ended up backing out of the deal later on through you know some scandals court stuff and just a whole bunch of stuff pretty much destiny bungie held a super l by partnering with activision that was the first deal now we come along to the deal with bungie and sony now this is why i think this is major because the money that they're offering was 3.6 billion dollars to work to own they basically own bungie which they can make AAA titles, they can produce film, movies, shows, because under the Sony Entertainment brand, boom, you got that there for Bungie and Destiny to spread the franchise, to spread the Destiny franchise to movies, um, shows, any type of different type of entertainment, comics, whatever, whatever you have, they can spread it. Plus, development of destiny itself now as you guys know there was an independent studio after um activision left backed out whatever so they didn't have that budget from activision they didn't have that huge you know million dollar almost billion dollar budget from activision and activision took the developers that they brung to help them make destiny some of the destiny content i can't remember what dlc that came out our expansion that came out, I believe it's not, it's the one that's out now, or it was the prior one that before that, I can't remember which one it was offhand, but they had developers from Activision to help them, you know, develop the game and the content, but you know, Activision was slowing down the content. They were putting out the content that they wanted to put out, putting out the microtransaction E stuff and the way that they was doing the season passes and everything like that. I don't think the like the battle pass and all that. I don't really think Bungie itself, Destiny itself, really wanted to do battle pass system and season pass system. I don't believe Destiny, Bungie in general, wanted to do that. But I think that was an Activision thing. So once it got implemented, it they implemented. They could not stop doing it because it was making them revenue. First of all. It was something that they brought in. So you don't want to bring something in, have it for a few seasons, and then it's gone. You know what I'm saying? So I, I believe they kept on with it. And with the Eververse, they changed the whole structure of that just to make more money. Because once they became an independent develop, developer team or development team, they didn't have the money to, you know, do all this crazy stuff. So they had to make stuff through the Eververse, which is that is the multi uh, multi transaction thing through uh, cosmetics and stuff like that. They had to, they had to do that. They had to do a season pass. They had to do DLC, more DLC content just to make money because they were an independent studio. So how are they going to make money to develop more stuff? But as you guys know, in the background, um, they purchased like a twenty six million dollar compound uh not too long ago information uh, i think i did a story on that i i think i did but um bungie purchased uh some like huge shopping center that was like uh, it was either a shopping center or a mall that was pretty much um, um abandoned and they made it a structural office for bungie i guess it was a new office with more office space with more units with more uh development um sections in it for bungie it was like 26 million dollars where do you think they got that money from that was from sony sony was already working on some stuff with bungie in the backfield supplying a little bit of money for them to you know get stuff in order for the next part of the bungie series and the next destiny series not bungie but destiny series and bungie as a company they had bigger office space more more development sections for more people to be hired on to work on media to work on you know movies to work on you know more artwork for comics and just the whole branch of 
more stuff alongside. And I got some more inter interesting news that y'all think that these deals just happen overnight. These don't happen overnight. These companies invest into smaller companies or bigger companies. They they drop small little investments like here's a here's a hundred million right here. Go work on something like that. Because now, if you didn't know that Sony invested two hundred and fifty million into Fortnite and Epic Games in 2020. I don't think you guys knew that. In addition, another two hundred million dollars last year. So they did it. They OK, so. um. Yeah, so they invested um, Sony invested two hundred fifty million dollar investments in Fortnite owner Epic Games and then the follow and followed by another additional two hundred million dollars last year. I don't know when this was posted, but from what I'm reading is just say last year. So twenty twenty one. Yeah. So they put another two hundred million dollars in into Epic Games and uh, Fortnite just to throw value into Fortnite partnership because you know if you go on to um, Sony's marketplace or Sony store the you can look on there and see exclusive content for uh Fortnite uh if you got PlayStation Plus you can get Fortnite skins and you know all that stuff that come with that just through PlayStation Plus itself so you know what I'm saying Sony invests a little small money here and there in these different companies to bring exclusive content to PlayStation. Um, but a lot of people think that these deals happen overnight. These deals happen over a month's time. No, these companies, bigger companies, Microsoft, Sony, Tencent, all these places, they throw little money into these smaller developments or bigger development companies to help them build something up to get them ready for the bigger investment. That's what you do if you're a big tycoon uh, honcho in the game. You throw a little small money to these smaller companies to help them develop more stuff to get them right where you want them at. And then you throw the big money at them and buy them out. So that's pretty much what Sony did. Um, it's just basically business one on one. If you if you guys know anything about business, that's what you do. You help invest smaller companies to build them up to a certain point. And then you like, OK, y'all got the people you need. You got the staff you need. Here go the budget, the bigger budget. Let's just buy y'all out and just let us have the infrastructure that you already made. You can still have full rights to whatever you made for now. And then later on, once all those contracts and stuff are done, then that's when Sony brand, Microsoft brand takes over and, you know, start developing more stuff, more games, more AAA titles, different IPs, stuff like that. Um, and that's pretty much what I believe Sony is going to do after Destiny drops Witch Queen, the three more DLCs that comes after Witch Queen and just stuff in the middle. Because right now, Bungie and Destiny has their own infrastructure in, in play right now. So they, they're not going to break that down just because Sony comes into play. They're going to finish it out th the next three years. They're going to finish it out. I doubt if it'll be a Destiny 3. I, if, they, if there is a Destiny 3, they're going to name it something else. It won't be named Destiny 3. Um... I doubt if they even, you know, if Sony even goes there with the Destiny 3, I think they even going to change the full name. It'll be like Destiny something, 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 something. It won't be no Destiny 3. They're not going to do that. Um, but I do think that once those three years over, once Destiny drops everything, their DLC, their expansion, all the stuff in between the seasons, once all that stuff is fully done, I believe Sony is going to step in and be like, OK, now we need to create something else, which they bought them out. So they own Bungie. So they got the rights to go ahead and make another triple A title. Go ahead and make another IP, something that's different because now they have the manpower, the, the, the developments, the devs. So they don't have to even make a Destiny game. They don't. They, they honestly, they can change Bungie name if they want to. They own Bungie. They can change it. They don't have to name it Bungie still. You know what I'm saying? So it's bigger than what we think would be for Destiny fans and what the it's just the investment alone, the billions of dollars pushed into Destiny. You know, Destiny has his Rockies points, his ups and downs, dry spells. I think now with the budget that they have, they it's over like the content is going to be flushed out like. 
boom, 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 flush it. Let's let's get it out to the people and it's going to be good content because they got the budget to turn up. That's what I think. Um, Just me being a Destiny fan, I, I like it, honestly. And I think it's a great move for Sony, honestly. Um, It's not as big as this Microsoft deal is, but, you know, from what I'm hearing with the Microsoft, the FCA, they got to go through that to even get the mic the, the to get the deal approved with um, the Activision stuff. So I don't like right now it's rocky with that. So we don't even know what's going to happen. They might not even be able to purchase Activision if it don't go through. Right. Just because the mon mon the monopolization of the whole thing, like if they purchase those, that's a big merger. Sony got to purchase something big. And I don't even think it's really nothing to purchase that major besides Ubisoft and some other smaller little you know, other smaller companies, but I don't think they're going to let up off that. I don't think Ubisoft going to let up because they got so many AAA titles themselves. Why would they want to let up and let Sony have it? I don't think it'll happen, um, personally. Um, like I said, it's bigger than what we all think. Um, I think it's great for Bungie. I think it's great for Sony. Um, I just hope that they don't, you know, do some outrageous stuff and just kill off Destiny itself. I doubt if that'll happen. Um, you know, just keep it lit, keep it like it is. Let let Bungie keep full, you know, full development of it. Um, you know, Sony can throw their little left and right in there, but let Bungie do what they do, man. Don't come in there trying to control everything and you know throw it all off, man. Just keep it like it is. You know, it's going to stay multi. It's going to stay multi -play. It's going to stay cross platform, which is lovely. Um, we just gotta figure, we just gotta sit and wait and see what's gonna happen these next three years after you know the content is let out. What Sony's gonna do in them? I hope they just do something great, man. Honestly, uh, but like I said, if y'all want to take anything away from this, these bigger companies, Microsoft, Sony, Nintendo, they throw money into smaller companies. These deals don't happen overnight, y'all. Like this is not no overnight stuff. These these take years, months in development man they got partnerships with these companies that they don't talk about because they they invest money on the side that don't need to be talked about um and you can you can even read up on this if you search and find out the backstories of all these deals they already was pushing money into these companies years and years and years back and it's just once it gets to a certain point they buy them out like okay we don't push y'all this much we don't push y'all five million dollars or $500 million. Now we at the point where we ready to buy y'all out. Are y'all ready to buy for the big number? That's just how it goes in business. It's business one-on-one. -on -one. Um, but let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Hopefully you like this little rant. It's not really a rant, but just an informational video about what I think about the whole Sony and Bungie thing. Like I said, I think it's a great idea. I think it's good for both companies. That's just me. Um, but let me know in the comments down below. Hit me with a like. And subscribe if you like the content. It is your boy Ishwigs from the Urban Gamers. We're pushing out these videos. My bad, I'm late on this video. I am like two or three days late. I think it's two. Um, but we just got hit with a huge snowstorm. And I'm trying to figure out everything up that go with that stuff. So I just been kind of, you know what I'm saying, trying to figure that stuff out. But oh, shout out to the Bengals too. Yeah, we went to the Super Bowl. You already know what time it is. But um, yeah, other than that, keep it gaming, keep it peace. Keep it swag, and I'll see you guys in the next video. We out here. Peace. Uh, 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 uh. White on black lips make her two-tone. Eyes roll back in slow motion, losing focus on what you on. I am ever-present. White girl falling down like it's evanescence. A blessing. I might get the message and just never check it. My shit LED, yo shit so fluorescent. 07 triple C's, I was in the present Back then, loop again, Joseph Gordon Levitt It's not hard to press it, car shit in the question Boof will put your fucking car, Bo just go collect it Long guy got you on the ground